worse here. They are now investigating not just the shooter's actions leading up to this, but their own. Aaron Hayes, ABC News, Conyers, Georgia. There are a lot of people in the country who have been moved by these and the previous shootings to ask whether they might have done or might do something different. There's a lot of talk about whether television, which is prone to repeat the most dramatic pictures, contributes to an unstable environment. Our religion editor, Peggy Waymeyer, reports tonight on a television station in Meridian, Mississippi, which thinks that it can do a better job. This is 2430 News at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining like us Like most tonight. television stations across the United States, WMDN-TV has aired countless reports on ethnic cleansing in Kosovo, tornado victims in Oklahoma, and the massacre at Columbine High School. The news hit close to home in Meridian when copycat bomb threats shut down local schools. Station manager Mark Grossman began to wonder if his news broadcast had become part of the problem. You think, has the world gone crazy? Is there something out there just going on that we're partly responsible for? And was there something he could do to soften the impact of so much violence and bad news? Last week, the station broadcast its answer. And before we go tonight, we leave you with Keep the Faith. Will you join me in a very simple prayer? Heavenly Father. Now, on every 10 o'clock newscast at WMDN, they close with a 90-second commentary and prayer from a local clergy member. Not only do we do news weather and sports, but we give a moment of opportunity for introspection, reflection, and say a little prayer. The residents of Meridian have overwhelmingly supported their station's decision to run a prayer. In fact, there hasn't been one complaint. At the century-old Weidman's Cafe, everyone who had heard the news echoed the words of Billy Joe Price. I think we need to turn around and go back to the basic morals, and I think this is a step to that. Remember, the Lord is my light. Pastor Charles Johnson says prayer has been removed from public life for too long. Because everybody watches the news, but then at the end, to help to soften something that has gone on, the children, adults, and all can see that there is a God still that cares and that is concerned. A reassuring thought deep in the heart of the Bible Belt. With nearly 300 churches in this county alone, there will be no shortage of ministers. Amen and amen. To close the newscast, Peggy Waymeyer, ABC News, Meridian, Mississippi. Here's another example of how people are reacting to the spate of shootings. In Westport, Connecticut, as at a lot of other high schools, there's an end of school ritual involving toy guns. This year, this